All right, today we're gonna have fun cooking out in the snow. It like dumped on us last night. We're gonna have a blast. We're gonna do some uh, lobster tails in the Dutch oven and some caveman steak. So I have my 12 inch Dutch oven here and I have 10 coals underneath. It's been preheating just for like five minutes or so. But let me get that off. Move that lid lifter. Oh, I'll just set it on the ground. There's not enough room on the table. And then, We'll set these lobster tails in there. They're going to cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. So we're going to do that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> Get those in there. And then I'm going to put the lid on. And then I have, we're using lump charcoal today because we're going to cook the steaks right on top of here so go like that and I want to kind of blow the dust off because I'm gonna lay my big my ribeye right here the ribeye cooking a caveman st style that cooks fast so I think I'll do two minutes flip it two minutes and then we'll kind of judge from there then we can pull the steak off and then while the steaks rest and the lobster tails can be still cooking finishing up and I think it'll work out just fine let's get this ribeye and I'm just gonna set it right on here look at that that already smells good so I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes so we'll be back shortly to flip this so we'll see you back Okay, it's been two minutes, so let's flip this ribeye, but it smells so good. I can't believe it. Let's let's look at this. How to get those briquettes. Look at that. There's a little ash, but it'll, it'll come right off. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm just going to let that go. I mean, it was like two minutes to the second I think when we flip this but this ribeye it's only about three quarters of an inch thick so I'm thinking two more minutes will be good so we'll see you back okay that's quick what I'm gonna do is let's flip this back over and then I'm gonna take the internal temperature but I'm thinking let's leave it on this side for a sec while I do this I want it about 130 or so and then it'll rest in there. So, man, that smells good. This is Kingsford Lumps charcoal, so it looks like the regular charcoal. The charcoal lump charcoal I used on my other cave man steak video was like looked like pieces of wood and stuff. But we're at like 121, 22. Let me check one other spot. See how this does. 130. Yeah, I think we're good. Jenny, I think this is going to be good. So let's just pull it off. We'll take it inside and let it rest. Should we peek at the lobster or just let him go? Mm, we can peek. All right, let me just, I'll just kind That's of look fun. at this, but we want him to be. Yep, they're cooking up. But yeah, so they've been cooking probably just like five minutes. Mm. So probably another seven to ten minutes on those guys. So there we go. All right, I think the lobsters are done. I can smell them with the lid still on right there. But they've been cooking about 15 minutes actually. So we have 10 coals on the bottom. There's probably like 25-ish on top because I had a lot on there to cook those caveman steaks. But let's... Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Yeah. But let me grab one and I'll set it. Look at that. That smells so good. That red color is delicious. Pretty. Let's set it right here. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty good. Let me put the lid on for that while I do this. But yeah, I have some butter right there with garlic 
you put it has garlic salt in it, right, Jenny? Or what? What'd you put in it? It's just lemon butter. Yeah. Look at the inside of this. Perfect. That smells so good. Hmm. Yummy. Hmm. That is so delicious. But yeah, look at that. It's like curling up a little bit because maybe it doesn't like the cold. Because <laughs> that's what it does. Yeah, that's what it does. I'm trying. Yeah, that has such good flavor. Yummy, but yeah. I just had a little olive oil in the Dutch oven. We just set them down in there. I'll try this caveman steak. Look how good that cuts. Look at that. Medium. Perfect. That's just like four, maybe five minutes max. There's a little charcoal. You can see a little black. But a little ash isn't going to hurt anybody. But yeah. Try this out. Mm. It gives it such a smoky flavor. Like you can, the charcoal flavor is so delicious on this caveman steak style. Mmm. And it's so tender. Yeah, that's perfect. Gotta love it. If you haven't tried cooking caveman style, try it. I mean, it's so good. I have another caveman steak video. Check it out. But yeah, I hope you like this video. We had a good time making this out in the snow. And we'll see you next time.